All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise. We'll bring honor this due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bahashim, the honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the 144,000 and the whole four elect. Shalom, Barak, and Thumb. Uh, and this is a working title on this video, but um, I want to speak on the matter of letting your eye be single. Um, the scriptures say that, well, as a matter of fact, I'll just go right into it and read it. This is the book of uh, Luke 11. All right, and starting, uh, actually, I'll start at verse 33. Okay, it says, uh, No man, when he hath lighted a candle, put it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light and this basically speaking about the truth man when you have this wisdom this knowledge and understanding there is a duty all right to let that light shine okay and not only do you need to let that light shine but that light needs to be the focus on everything that you do man like it has to take over the way that you move in the world you can't just be an israelite on saturdays or you know when you do videos and then you go off and do some 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 uh some nigga some nigga stuff you know in the rest of the week you know because at the end of the day the lord is going to test you man this is all a rehearsal for a test we're, we're putting in reps so we can lift our max weight okay in the hour of temptation but verse 34 it says the light of the body is the eye therefore when thine eye is single thy whole body is full of light all right and the reason we want our eyes single on this thing man is because is it where the scriptures say that the, the elect are going to narrowly be saved all right so you want to have a focus honed down on this thing you know and you have to realize other people are watching you they may be younger i can look up to you but people in the world are watching you man there are people that are that are that don't are not in the faith quote unquote they watch our videos some of them are, are scoffing in their minds hoping that you know you get weak or tired or they're, they're hoping the prophecies don't come to pass they're rooting against you and then some of them are watching out of envy because they just don't have it in them to go out there but the scriptures clearly tell you that if you have this light man do, do not hide it under a bushel all right it says the whole body is full of light but when thine eye is evil thy body also is full of darkness okay so this speaks about not having an evil eye and it's really towards your own brothers man okay you have to purge things out of you daily on a daily basis remember our flesh is toxic man you know a demon will attack my mind you know try to get you to think down on a particular brother he said this or that that way and and it's all folly man all right these are all things that we have to overcome and we're gonna have to lock in okay lock in okay we're, we we're supposed to be look we're at the end of this thing man we're supposed to be looking you know to get the victory because the victory is within is within arm's reach now we're basically at the end now it's not the time to get distracted or have your focus split you know because that's how satan's gonna get an advantage of you man all right He's gonna he's gonna put things in your mind to make you think that this thing is more important than that thing, okay? And if he can't get you that way, he'll he'll drop a seed of doubt in there, you know. See if you're gonna catch it, and if you don't catch it and purge it, you'll you'll waver in the time when, when you're needed to stand up, okay? The scriptures say, "Gird up thy loins," okay. And if you have a seed of doubt that's been flourishing, all right, because you're not laser focused in on this thing then that could get you up out of here, man. All right? And when you're in a position of like a quarterback, man, you have to be able to read the play. It's not just about being able to accurately throw. You have to read the play. Where is that player going to go? All right, where is the receiver going to go? Should I throw it high? Should I throw it low? Okay, where can I put it where he can get it, but the, but the defender can't get it, you know? And that and that, that's a, an example of focus. Okay, and it's something that we all need to pray for because we all have these smartphones where we're constantly bombarded with Instagram reels and um, 
notifications just hitting you up out of nowhere. You get spam telemarketing calls. All right, you know, it, 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 it's, 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 it's difficult, man. But that's why we pray, all right? But it says, take heed, verse 35, take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If the whole body, therefore, be full of light, uh, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light. And as when the bright shining of a candle doeth give thee light, all right? So basically if you're not focused on this thing it's like a waste man because you can you can have a candle it's giving off the same amount of light but if you hide it behind something you basically you're wasting that light it's being blocked you see so when you when you wake up in the morning man you have to examine yourself you know you have to look at uh what did i do yesterday could i improve okay what's going on in the news all right where, where, where are the opportunities for me, you know? And and, he, and this, is, this is what, uh, if you look at any any major competitor, whether it be boxing or basketball, this is what you see. Each season or each fight, they get better and better and better because they examine their own fighting skills. They examine their opponents. They look for ways to improve. They don't just sit stagnant, you know? And that, and that takes a lot of focus to do that, especially for a duration of years and especially for men in the faith, because we are the number one target of Satan, man. We're the number one target of Satan. All right? So Locke is <laughs> waiting for this car to warm up, you know? Um, but that's basically uh, the main point that I wanted to bring up, because the scriptures say Satan desired to have us and to sift us as weak, man. And one easy way he's gonna do that is, is is getting us off focus, man. Sometimes it's a job. Sometimes it's a woman. Okay, sometimes it's just doubt or lack of confidence. You know, all of those are demons, man. All right? And you don't want that to manifest into a fear outside of the Heavenly Father because the only thing that we should fear is Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh That's it. Okay? Everything else is a consequence of our flesh. Okay? Tr trying to uh, pull us in a direction away from the Most High. All right. So basically, that's all I wanted to say on that matter, man. Lord willing, this is edifying. Call Hawaii. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Yahweh Kadash. Shalom.